two or three days ago, my laptop died. And I had everything on there. Um, so, first I was like, oh, you know, shit. Let's try and fix this. So I kind of went straight into my practical we can solve this um, thing. But six outer hours later, um, still nothing. But that's where, like, the feeling, I could, like, feel sadness coming up. And I was like, ah, oh, I don't want to fail this. So I immediately started, um, like, thinking of, of ways to like not feel it. So I was like, oh, my mom and dad just made this really cheap margarita thingy with diet soda and high quality tequila. Maybe I should just have a glass of that or a glass of wine. Or maybe I should just smoke weed right now. Maybe I should just check my Facebook 20 times. But I can't. My computer just died. Honestly, that's not going to help because you're trying to run away, or I was trying to run away from something that I would describe as a feeling I don't like having. Sadness hurts, anger hurts, jealousy hurts, you know, all of those eh, feelings that we just don't want to have. And um, so I was like, oh, I don't know what to do with this. <laughs> I should fix this. Put something on it, something different. Spice it up. <laughs> so that reminded me of a wonderful teaching that I taught my children uh, about Shemba. And Shemba is this, um, it's a Tibetan word. I think it's officially translated as attachment. Um, but as um, Pema describes it's kind of more being hooked, so being triggered by something, you know, maybe it's a song that you listen to while you broke up with your high school sweetheart, or maybe it's just a smell, or um, someone says something just that just gets to you. It doesn't really matter, <laughs> but it's that thing that just that you kind of feel coming up, and you're like, oh, no, can't deal with this right now. <laughs> So then Shempa is this urge to like push it down. You're like, I no. What do you do with that? Right? So so I was kind of like feeling that thing coming up and I kind of saw in my mind being like, oh try this. Oh no, try this. Oh no, you should definitely try this. I got into a car um, to go to the supermarket and I sat down tears started running down my face. I was like, ah, I've lost everything. I've lost everything. So, you know, it's like, just feel it. Just feel it. It's, because you can feel it. That's the whole thing you try to not feel it because it's already there and you're like, oh, I'm just going to ignore you for now. Bye. <laughs> I don't know. Shit. So practicing Shemba, I think, is is feeling that feeling coming up and whenever your mind says, you really need a smoke right now or an urge to do something, it's like, you need that smoke right now. Like, oh, I need to cry. You need to drink right now. No, I need to cry. You need to watch 20 episodes or something on Netflix. I need to cry. You need to fucking cry or yell or scream at your pillow. It doesn't matter as long as you feel it. I went into bed and I curled up and I cried some more. I took three deep breaths and I was gone. It was gone. Um, and it, it just it just feels 
so good to be able to let something go. Right? We can't stop ourselves from getting hooked because it takes a lot of training and it's really hard. But just to feel that something gets to you and you can just like breathe and it just naturally dissolves itself. Um, it's pretty magical. It's pretty magical. And um, try it. <laughs> just try.